bench. He was not a starter this week. Fangio did not start him because you know what he's doing? He's being lazy. He's yep. not coming to team meetings. He's not He's not playing hard on every play. I, I, I'm sorry. University of Georgia might have won a national championship, but guess what? National championships do not translate the Super Bowls in the NFL. You're what right. translate the Super Bowls in the NFL is you don't take plays off. You go, you hustle, and you bust your ass. These players are not doing that. I'm sorry, they're not. You're right. And and and, and, and let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something more add to what you said right there, okay? And I think the reason why this is happening is because of last year. Because last year on defense, we didn't want to tackle. Look, I'm look, I know the play that I'm so done. I'm I'm done with Slay, man. I'm so I'm completely done with Slay. If you see some of his highlights, the way he tackled, there was some tackle that he didn't even want to tackle. Like he didn't even go to and he, the guy running right past him. I'm like, bro, are you, what are you doing? For sure. And, and, it, it, it it it's a it's annoying. Like you pay, you you get paid to play to play. You get paid. You know that's your job. You know it's it's like a surgeon saying, "Oh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to perform a uh, a surgery because I'm scared of blood." That's mm-hmm. that's pretty much what you know. The same thing that's lazy. Like I don't want to attack because I don't want to get hurt. That's what he said last year. Yep. But let's not let's not count out Avante Maddox too. Oh, a guy yep. That makes one out of thirty plays when he should be playing hard every time they're set up in nickel D. I would rather take the chance giving Quinion uh, Mitchell and Kylie Ringo their opportunities to play this year. Really, let those guys bite, you know, just bite on it. You know what I'm saying? Give them that opportunity. Hey, learn from these mistakes. I'm going to get burnt every now and then. But do you see how Mitchell plays? He's like, hmm. I mean – he takes those risks when he has to, and with experience, I think he's going to turn into a heck of a D back for sure. I, I feel the same way too. He's the only one actually that can that are willing to really tackle. You know him, and I'm I'm impressed with Bond as well because Bond is not scared to tackle either. Right, uh, Zach Bond. You know, but yep. everybody else is like they're scared to tackle this. You know, like they're scared to make a mistake or something. You know, and like. It is just annoying, man. It's really, but that's really annoying. practice, though. Last year, they didn't even practice tackling. Fact. That was the big thing. People were all, you know, up in arms because it's like, how are you not practicing tackling? How are you not doing this in practice where you have that experience? Uh, yeah, forget Darius Slay. Send him packing. He ain't proved nothing to me. Seriously, I'm done. Facts. Um, uh, yeah, I'm the same way, too. I mean, and, I, and the worst thing about it, because all my friends, you know, uh, I, I was telling them like, "Yo, I, I've been done with Slate, man. Like, I've been done with Slate since like since probably like the end of last season. Whenever he like, uh, he said that um he was scared of tech. Oh, not really scared. He didn't want to attack because he didn't want to get hurt. Um, uh, right. because he want to be there for the kids. And I understand that. But what I don't understand is uh, you shouldn't be doing this job anymore if you want to be there for your kids and like you know and you don't want to tackle. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, right. the, the more scared you are of tackle, most likely you're gonna get hurt, especially if you're gonna go for a tackle. And I don't want to start any conspiracy theories here, but when they had that former head coach of his as the defensive coach, we all remember that? Yep. Okay. I, what's what's to make him not be a vindictive individual? Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. What's to make him not go, you know what? Well, the Eagles brought him in. Oh, I'm not going to give it my best. That's bullshit. You're a professional. Play like a professional. Right. I'm not saying he did that, but... We kind of got a feeling like it was going that way when Patricia was there. Like the defense wasn't stepping up. They weren't listening. They were divided because of the side. And then the side got, you know, that that title taken from him. And all of a sudden, Matt Patricia's in charge. I'm just saying. Let's make this epic. If you like this show, you're a true Eagle fan. Look at the reaction that we had when it came to that Monday night football game.